Okay, well that's it for uh, the Rideau Lakes. We're heading back onto the river now. One last look at uh, Lower Rideau Lake. And back into uh, back into the wetlands. We were eight days, eight days on the Rideau Lakes. Punamalee Lock Station. Uh, this is where we had the little guy's third birthday just over a week ago. Locking through in the rain. So I've got the uh, uh, I've got the lid on the boat. Uh, everybody else is uh, kind of relaxing below in the cabin. The little guy, um, the missus, and uh, the dog's been down there too. But uh, I've been staying dry out in the cockpit with the lid on. Just waiting for a boat to come up and then we'll head down. Down there at that picnic table, that's where we did the big third birthday party. It's a good day, lots of squirt gun fights. Cake, pizza. That's where we're going. Uh, these wetlands are beautiful in the rain. I guess they're beautiful in the sunshine too, but they're beautiful in the rain. Smith's Falls, one of the two hydraulic locks we've been through. We've got about uh, three feet of clearance on the bridge on the other side of the lock gate.
Yeah. That might be the one out of uh, Merrickville. Oh, wow. Kilmarnock so we're kind of back in our home cruising grounds kind of somewhere we could reach on a weekend uh, it's beautiful here I like it and there's enough open water for sailing uh, it's wetlands uh, the lock master was just telling us all about the wildlife that's here there's some resident deer, a couple of otters, lots of birds because we've got the Merrickville Bird Sanctuary here. Uh, as you can see, it's just it's just wetlands, massive wetlands. Just a small lift on the lock, a couple feet maybe. Nice trawler coming through right now.
teaching the little guy some hookless fly fishing. Just a couple of bobbers tied on the end. <laughs> Kilmarnock Lock Station. That's one of my personal favorites. It's just so peaceful. It's on this big giant wetland with birds and bullfrogs and um, nobody else here. For some reason nobody seems to want to stay at Kilmarnock. There's a couple of really nice lock stations like this where nobody, you don't see anybody. Um, this is the second uh, time this season we've stayed here and, and been the only, only ones. And I was talking to the lock master and he says that's typical. So, Kilmarnock. And there's the look at uh, Kilmarnock Upper. Also very quiet. Had to create a little windbreak uh, to make coffee this morning. Uh, that's been, it's quite cool this morning. It's been quite breezy this entire trip. Uh, lots of wind which has been good for sailing when it's been in the right direction. Um, yeah, I haven't talked much about cooking because it's it's actually pretty easy. I mean, really, 21 feet is a pretty good sized boat. I mean, we've got uh, the alcohol stove and we've got a good galley locker, so you know it's just like cooking anywhere. Basically, it's it's a lot easier than cooking, say, uh, uh, from a canoe or something like that. Uh, so yeah, this morning is uh, coffee and uh, fried kielbasa sandwiches. Should be good. Get us warmed up. Simple, no-nonsense breakfast. Fried kielbasa on bagels and percolated coffee. Simple, easy, filling. Yeah, there's nothing uh, special or difficult about cooking on a boat. It's just like cooking at a home, but with alcohol instead of electricity. Breakfast there.